guys, um, sorry, I sound a little, like, nervous on camera. Not really on camera, but just voice. I, um, I'm going to be discussing my journey, figuring out my theory type. Basically how I am a theory. <sighs> okay, so basically it all started back when I was maybe preschool through kindergarten. I would always, hmm, I'm trying to think of a way to explain. Well, pretty much. Sorry, someone went past my room like, oh shit. Okay, <laughs> anyways. So, basically, continuing on. How I found this out was it came back into my early years, like preschool through kindergarten. <clears throat> and of course through first grade, I would start to get more mature, but I'd still do this. But during preschool, and I would just kind of crawl around. And that sounds normal, like, what do you mean you just crawl around? All babies did that. Well, not intentionally just crawling around because I couldn't walk. Because the thing was, I could walk. And so, I basically just became an example. And, um, I've always, like, how at recess. And I'd always play with this, and I'd always, like, growl at people, snarl at people, they, like, made me mad. It's just an urge that I get. Hold on. Um, and it's just an urge that I would get. And lately, I've been getting stuff like phantom limb, and like urges to tilt my head and stuff, and just pretty much just attack people, <laughs> violence, you know. But you know, continuing, I would always pretend I was a wolf, and I, I don't even know if I barely even knew what a wolf, oh, what a wolf was. I. I'm not even sure how I found out what wolves were back then, but I just, I don't know. So, yeah, I've always really had a connection with them, but, um, yeah, so basically, later on, do it. Okay, let's just skip some time. Okay, so I'm in first through second grade. First through second grade, I was, you know, very, you know, aware of just myself and I'm more mature. So I'd still just not like normally do it, but like I would like always play like role play games kind of. And I'd like pretend that I was a wolf or just stuff like that. And I'd always like to be outside. And yeah, so, and I would show you my room right now if it's super messy. It probably will sometime in the future, but my room is actually forest themed. <laughs> and yeah. But anyways, continuing on. <sighs> so first through second grade, I'd always play games, like role play games, and pretend that I was a wolf or something, a like to one, or just pretty much like a human that finds wolves, stuff like that. And then third through fourth. In third grade, it's just pretty much almost the same as second grade, so they just didn't really play the role play games anymore. But I'd always play it on the app called Roblox, which I do do videos on. I, I don't think I have done one on this channel yet, but probably will soon. Since Roblox is back up. But basically I'd always play like role play games and stuff like that, and I'm actually a hardcore role player. Normally, like, I'm mostly a hardcore role playing because I like the details. And I love books. I and I, I still do. There's especially like chapter books that are about wolves. So that I can get like a chapter book. But at the same time it's like about something that I love. Because normally it's just like nonfiction books telling you about wolves, it's just like facts. But <clears throat> I would like maybe like a realistic fiction wolf chapter book, which I've gotten. And I'm working on a journal right now to write down a whole bunch of facts and poems and maybe drawing stories, stuff like that, into a little journal. It arrived actually on Friday. So it arrived yesterday. So yeah. And so third grade, that was pretty much my third grade. I really like wolves. 
And now moving on to fourth grade. Fourth grade is when I found out I was a variant. At first I thought I was a furry because I've always liked animals. So I just was a furry, I thought. And I had that sort of world stuff. And then I looked at the actual definition, it's just a person who is interested in cartoony animals, which I'm not. So antiphobic. I don't know how to say it. I'm sorry if I pronounced that wrong. But you know. So, and then later on I was like, oh, well, I guess I'm not a furry. And then I started watching theory videos. And I looked more into my childhood. And I really, really just tried to understand more. And then once I understood more, I actually found out I was a theory. And please do note, you cannot become a theory, but you can find out that you're a theory. So, that's just pretty much the journey. There's not much left in these further grades that I've gone through, but there's not much. It's just pretty much the same thing through fourth grade. Like, still starts with wolves, just not crazy. Like, I don't really role play in real life anymore. It's sort of embarrassing sometimes. And, because I know what a theory is, so. And how I found my stereotype. I already told you that, I guess. And at first, I thought it was a cat, because, please do not, do not mistake your stereotype for an animal you liked, because I made that mistake. I really liked cats at the time, which I mistaked for, because I liked them, but, yeah. So, I realized, eh, so, I pretty much realized that it wasn't a cat, that was a stereotype. So, that's about it. This is like my first fear and therapy. I, I, I'm sorry if I pronounced that wrong once again. I'm bad at pronouncing stuff. <laughs> but that's my that's the first video in this category. So correct me if I'm wrong or anything or yeah. But yeah. So that's about it for now. Although one last note. Um there is physically being connected to wolves and spiritually. I'm leaning more for the spiritual side. But I feel like that I've been feeling that it is possible for having the past life. So that's pretty much it. And I hope you guys enjoyed this or enjoyed hearing my story. And that's all. Bye.